Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Exoskeleton is going to be next sophisticated gadget for armed forces across the globe, transforming them from a soldier to a super soldier. They improve the muscle activity, discomfort and endurance time in forward bending work which is much needed in high altitude warfare. Exoskeleton is a wearable device supporting human to generate the physical power required for manual tasks. Exoskeletons could be classified into two types, active or passive. An active exoskeleton is comprised of one or more actuators, that is, electric motors that actively augments power to the human body. A passive system does not use an external power source but uses materials, springs, or dampers with the ability to store energy from human movements and release it when required generate the physical power required for manual tasks. In today's discussion, we were talking about the Russian exoskeleton suits and where is India heading in this technology. Russia is in the process of arming its close to 3 lakh soldier with its Iron Man suit called Ratnik Combat Outfits developed by researching over a period of 8 years. It reduces the load on musculoskeletal system by 50%, energy consumption while running or walking by 15%, allows wearer to carry up to 60 kg of cargo and fire automatic weapons with 20% greater accuracy. According to Forbes report, the Ratnik exoskeleton only takes few minutes to wear and can be removed quickly with a quick release mechanism. It can also mount weapons along with bearing weight and costs over $3,500 per unit. Ratnik is a wearable mobile machine powered by a system of electric motors, levers, hydraulics, pneumatics or a blend of technologies allowing limb movement with increased strength and endurance. It is capable of operating in both modes that is active and passive modes. In active mode, the battery-powered gearless electric motors serve to enhance the wearer's physical capabilities. The system is activated when a soldier is moving through rough or mountainous terrain. Passive mode is designed for movement over a flat surface with gear. An anonymous representative of Rostec also revealed to Sputnik that Russian-made combat exoskeleton have already been deployed in Syria among sapper units where they are said to have increased the combat potential of individual soldiers and entire units. The official said that exoskeleton used in Syria use passive technology. Russian engineers aren't the only one working on passive or powered exoskeleton for military use. The United States and China are also known to be working on futuristic technology which until a decades ago was considered the domain only of science fiction. Talking about India, DRDO has also started working towards developing it and we have made a detailed video on that and the link for the same can be found under the description section. Please do not forget to check it out. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.